And what is up everybody and welcome back to the Michael Warbuck Show. Today I feel like doing something a little bit more personal. That's why I am in front of this camera and not my green screen. This video stems from uh, a couple of messages that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks uh, on Twitter and also via my YouTube personal things. And uh, it's saying, hey Mike, uh, how is your weight loss going? <laughs> As you can see, it's going terrible. But to be honest with you, at my lowest, I was down 12 pounds but then like everything just plateaued and the reason behind that is what stems today's video and that is because of a bad habit that I have had. I even talked about this uh, bad habit that I've had on any of these channels and uh, it was that I was a smoker. I quit smoking about two months ago and it has been the best decision that I have ever made. I knew it was a great time to quit whenever like I would run out of breath just going to the bathroom. I knew for me to lose more weight I was going to have to be healthier and be able to breathe so I could exercise more. Since I have quit smoking I have made little adjustments in my life to get a little bit more exercise like I have fired my landscaper and I have decided to cut the grass and I didn't even get a self-propelled mower. I got to push one because I knew it would be more difficult. Man, that was a bad decision. Now that I have told you a little bit about my story, to any of you that are viewers of mine that do smoke, uh, I want to tell you how I quit smoking in 12 hours. Yes, 12 hours, believe it or not, seriously. Now, since I don't have a traditional Monday through Friday job, uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, maybe you should just start by taking Friday off and worrying about Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Because because it takes about 72 hours to get most of the nicotine out of your system and trust me you're gonna need three stressless days and trying to do it while you're at work probably isn't even gonna be like the best idea ever so how did I quit in 12 hours first things first I did not like say I am going to quit smoking on March 15th I didn't I didn't do that at all I was in my garage I was having my cigarette and halfway through it I'm just like this sucks just stopped. Now the reason I say 12 hours is because that happened at about 9 o'clock at night. And just for the fun of it, we'll say it was Thursday. So Thursday, 9 o'clock at night, and I was like, well, since I don't really do any videos on Friday, uh, I'm just going to sleep in. So I just had to wait like two more hours until I actually fell asleep. And the sad thing is, I didn't fall asleep till almost 1 o'clock, so it was about four hours, which was actually better for me because the next day, I really didn't get up till about like 9, 9.30. So right then and there, I had already gone 12 hours without smoking. So in my brain, I'm thinking, well, if it's 72 hours to get all the nicotine out of my system, if I can spend at least 36 of that sleeping, uh, that's going to help me out tremendously. So all I had to do was spend 12 waking hours on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is 36 hours, trying to, uh, you know, keep my mind off of smoking. So I woke up at like 9.30 in the morning, and my first thought really was, Mike, you've just gone 12 hours. Uh, let's see if you can at least make it till noon. So that day, I woke up, took a leak, went and go made a coffee and I just hurried up and sat in this chair and just engulfed myself in YouTube videos for like four hours straight. I kept myself busy. Once I got done watching the YouTube videos, it was like one o'clock, 1.30 and I was like, okay, I kind of need a cigarette right now. What am I going to do? And this is where uh, I knew I should have probably went out and bought like carrots celery, stuff like that because, oh, let's go have a sandwich. So all I had to do was keep going every couple of hours. Okay, I made it till noon. Let's try three o'clock. Let's try six o'clock. Okay, I made it to nine o'clock. Okay, it's nine o'clock. I have gone 24 hours already. So then again, adding up in my brain, okay, I've gone 24 hours. All I have to do is go another 24 waking hours. And I literally did this 12 hours at a time. And I will say after the third day, I truthfully, definitely still wanted a cigarette. I still want a cigarette right Right now, but now it's a goal that it's like, all right, I've gone this long, let me go another day, let me go another day, let me go a week, and like now I am in month mode where I'm, I can't wait to go to like my dentist in July and say, yeah, I quit smoking, now you can finally stop yelling at me about it. It is difficult, trust me, and if you end up having a cigarette, that's cool, just start over. And believe me, having a quit date really isn't great because you're like forcing yourself to just do something that you don't want to do. Let your body and your brain just say, all right, today is the day, I am done smoking. Uh, I need to save some money so I can go on vacation, whatever it may be. Do yourself a favor, remove all of the cigarettes from your car, uh, hide your ashtrays or put them somewhere where you don't really feel like going to get it. And I'm not even going to tell you to throw out your cigarettes, just kind of keep them. And then when you look at it, you can say, you know what, I am beating you right now. It's kind of like that, kind of like that metaphor in The Fault in Our Stars, if any of you have ever seen that movie. It can't kill me if I don't light it, or whatever that line was. So if you're planning on quitting, trust me, plan ahead and come up with some activity 
activities to do whenever you get the urges. I don't know, maybe watch YouTube videos, maybe go for a walk, go for a drive, whatever it is to get your brain off of it. I know this video has gone long, but to wrap this all up, I just want to say that I have felt a significantly better after two months of not smoking. Before, I would get severe acid indigestion and just all kinds of terribleness that would keep me up at night. Uh, I haven't had that since. I can actually play street hockey or whatever it is without wanting to fall over and die. And now that I have quit smoking and it has been two months, I am excited to get back into the wonderful world of, you know, going outside, getting some exercise, getting back to losing some of this weight again. So if you want to quit smoking, please follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, whatever it is. Tweet me like whenever you've reached your little goals. Like, hey Mike, I've hit 72 hours. Hey Mike, I've hit a week. Hey Mike, I've hit a month. Let me know all that fun stuff because I will just congratulate you. And if you have tried to quit cold turkey or use like smoking hypnosis or smoking uh, like meditation, maybe smoking motivation, and none of that worked, I've given you a link down in the description below. Hopefully that will help you and you can set up like a timeline or whatever it is about uh, how you want to quit smoking and things like that. Hopefully it helps you out as well. All right, guys, that's going to be today's show. It feels a whole lot better letting you know all about this. Trust me. Uh, so this is going to bring us to the comment question of the day, which is, have you tried smoking? Have you tried to stop smoking? And how was your result? Let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome stuff that we talk about. Check out yesterday's show over there and check out out my gaming channel over there and uh you guys have a great day stay awesome and thank you for watching